everybody today i be working on invisible gold and this between those rocks all sand is already work hundreds of times so no visible gold in this place but i yesterday did it some uh, panning and i saw invisible gold which one you don't even see so right now i came and i be digging over here how much i can get the sand just from this area and then i make a concentrate and at home we will see how much gold i got it okay so right now i classifying because i don't need to carry all this useless material it's heavy and then i be panning okay i already have some and panning i be using this bucket not a pan but this this kind of bucket it's very easy concentrate and then i take that concentrate take home they use the magnets to get rid of uh, this uh, black sand because i see a lot of black sand or you can see the black sand everywhere so that means i need to use a magnet to remove that go uh, black sand and what's be left is be gold and we try to just to see how much I can get it from this place okay so it's very little it's like two feet on three feet space and I don't know how deep we'll see I'll be digging and I show you what I find this material I using spoon and very little one spoon at a time putting in classifier and then they shaking because if I put a lot, then it's, it's almost nothing can be done. It's, it's, it's shaking, shaking like half hour. And this one, you see how fast? It's already done. All gold already, you can keep passing that classifier. Okay, so one more spoon. This is simple thing. Yeah, it's shaking. Of course, there is some gold. I don't know how much. If I be working all this, I maybe get like two, three ounces of gold, but I, you know, I don't have energy to do that work so much. And so I work by little by little and try to figure out how much I can get, okay? Okay, now. So we got you saw that. One bucket from one place. One place. Here. Just one place. There's still you can dig deeper. There is a lot of dirt. But for today, enough. One bucket. Well, I right now go next to the river and do concentration. And I just break home, bring home just concentrates. Okay? And it's like 50 60 this maybe not even 100 mesh passes the sand is so small so let's go to the river and do panning next to the river and i'm ready to do panning i take one spoon okay and i put it in my bucket not bucket some kind of tray and and be panning different way than with a pan Okay, you know gold is very heavy and goes very fast in the bottom, so no problem, especially if you have a black sand, I think I have black sand here, so that is very good sign, it covers the gold, so I don't have worries about losing them, okay, okay doki. And this is from one more time I'm telling this gold people don't see when they panic. They're normally losing everything because it's super, super small. And you see how much black sand in that sand. Oh, it's all black sand. Okay, that is a good sign. Yes, I'm panning this way. Oh, try to get rid of 
everything what I don't need it. Okay, you see how fast when you have a black sand in the then it's very easy. Okay, let's transfer to the normal pan. Okay. Let me do it. With you can transfer everything that to the pan. You see, still have a lot of white sand. You see, this is a lot. So I no worry. Easy, get rid of that. Shaking, shaking. White sand goes up. Black sand goes down. Or gold supposed to be in the bottom. Okay. Okay, dokie. See how I working. Still that sand. Till you have that sand, you never see the gold. Okay, one more time. And we use a magnet to remove that black sand. Okay, so now, shaking back a little bit, getting magnet. Now I already can see a little piece of gold. <laughs> You see? <laughs> Magnet takes all this black sand out. And not throwing that black sand because sometimes it's catching the gold too, but it's okay. Right now I just play. So let me pan it and I show you what I get. You got you can see. <sighs> This is visible gold, yellow. Look how small pieces, okay? And I need to look in the microscope to see invisible gold. So this is the gold pieces, what I get from one spoon. But this is, keep in mind, it's very, very small. And I still have a full bucket of <laughs> this sand. So right now I be quick panning and don't show nothing. I just take concentrates, transfer all this gold in the bottle. Everything with the sand and everything here is still. Okay. All the sand contains microscopic gold, which one we don't see. <coughs> so, but result is good. Yeah, you can see right away it's coming. So, okay. I transferring to the bottom. Second pan is few, few visible gold, but mostly is invisible. Okay, a lot invisible gold. Okay, you see how small that gold is. Okay, so this is second pan, one spoon. Look how small, can even see nothing. You see, barely can see all those little, little pieces. And what here is invisible. You don't even see him. Smaller than those visible pieces. <coughs> okay, so now, I, this is okay. I be panning and collecting everything. And then we, with the chemicals, we recover that gold and we'll see how much I can get it for five gallons bucket of that sand. Okay. Collecting all this black sand, everything in my bottle. And at home, I be, will pan it. So you see, I still have a lot. So, and I use this, this technique because I saw that gold goes down in the bottom very fast, like a black sand. If you see the black sand is already there, so it means gold is the same thing. Shaking, 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 make everything go down, and then it throw the so top without even looking, because gold is already in the bottom, okay? You see? Maybe I'm losing something, but, uh, you know, it's okay. 
Let's see how fast. And she left the white black sand. I just like collecting without taking magnet, nothing. I just take home very little amount of material. I don't need to carry that full bucket. It's heavy. Okay, so right now we'll be transferring everything in big bucket, bottle. And go home. Then I finish, okay? So. Finish all bucket and I got full bottle of black sand and of course there's some gold is there <laughs> but that I can't carry this is like 50 60 pounds when you carry this is just like yeah, it's 10 pounds <laughs> too <laughs> okay so right now I'm finished and I closing the bottle and we go home and tomorrow we'll be playing with this material what I got so we'll see how much gold we still can get it if you collect microscopic gold okay this is be super super small gold because all big gold already people took it away so nothing nothing can be done left for us just microscopic gold if you know how to recover you can make a good amount of gold so we'll see how much i can get from one bucket from one little spot i not go around this is a lot of those spots around this river so gold is everywhere you just need to figure out how to get it okay so let's go home every place like this contains some sand gravel of everything because when river goes here here is a vortex and everything deposits in this place so the visible gold is not here but that microscopic barely you can see is a lot of guys so and i figured out how to pan that gold i using black sand and when in I using this sand this already contain a black sand so I don't need to add nothing okay and and every spot about few milligrams of gold is there still okay and <laughs> I was on the top so if I take over here down a little bit maybe I get a little bit more gold no we'll see tomorrow okay so time to go all the way to the hills it's getting dark, so <laughs> crazy man, retired and don't have nothing else to do, just play a game with the gold. <laughs> okay.